Satan, Lucifer, Belial, Leviathan, Samael. Satan, I ask for your divine guidance to open the gates of infernal wisdom for the listener. Satan, rise from hell to your rightful throne above the stars of heaven and those who cast truth asunder. Leviathan, Belial, Azazel, let your knowledge shine brightly to light the way in this world subdued by ignorance. Lucifer, we build your altar of illumination amongst the thorns and thistles of lascivious hate and await your seed. Shaitan, we have come to sow our seeds into barren chambers and usher your satanic arrival triumphant. Zippar, Balan, Raum, Kaim, Perta, demons of old, come forth and reveal your wisdom and fulfill your desires. Consecro, Satanas, we shall boldly rip their temple veil from bottom to top and procure your celestial tribunal. Antichrist, seed of Lucifer, we shall await your arrival to inherit your kingdom. Satan, devour their dominion and break their vassal chains of our silence to allow truth to finally be known to all. Nephilim of old, Disgrace and dishonor those who called unblemished and chosen, finally revealing their hoax, defamation, and true motivations. Astaroth cast down their stars so that it will be shattered, splintered, and scattered forever among the ephemeral winds. Asmodeus, the dust of pulverized bones, shall pave the established pathway of satanic enlightenment. Satan, never again shall their lies be considered factual, their propaganda, lecherous attacks, and fallacious bloodlines revealed. Satan, Lucifer, Belial, Leviathan, Osmodeus, bestow your satanic blessings upon us. So mote it be. Welcome. This is Alistair Noct. I'm glad that you're with me tonight. I'm looking forward to, uh, to tonight. Thank you so much for being here. It, uh, it means a lot to me. And I hope that you, uh, you have a good time. I hope you learn something from the presentation. Be sure to drop any questions that you may have into the question area um, so that uh, I can make sure that we get an answer for you. So again, welcome. This is the last night of the first season, I guess, of the Satanic Processes. So this is number 14 in 14 weeks so this is kind of the finale of this first part which is considered to be rote learning and uh, we're going to move into the understanding in a few weeks so. and I would like to thank my patrons because without you this certainly would not happen and this event is sponsored by my patrons so thank you very much for your generosity thank you for sharing um, and and thank you for making this available to share with other people outside of our patreon community there's a lot of good information on on my patreon and uh, you know I really appreciate you sponsoring it. All of this money goes back into production. We'll talk a little bit about that here 
in a few minutes and uh, I've got some people I want to recognize from the production side so again thank you so much for uh, for your support well and so let's jump into it so be sure and share your questions I will try to answer any questions that you may have in the presentation and uh, I certainly don't mind if other people want to uh, answer or address so um, as far as I'm concerned this is this is for each and every one of you here so feel free to um, to engage first let's charge the words I call upon Osmodeus to satanically bless this information and facilitate the understanding in the name of Satan take this message and fill it full of understanding so that it may be better absorbed by those who wish to do the will of Satan in his unholy name hail Satan so mote it be so my object objective tonight is I'm going to provide this it's a very effective methodology and you can use it immediately it's it's not something that you have to prepare for it's something that you can do immediately after this uh, live event if you want to and I use this I have used it again over 20 years as a satanic magus and it always always works it's up to the individual to either embrace the answers or to ignore the answers but if you follow it it will work finding Satan is something that is really it involves introspective uh, search you have to know yourself before you can know Satan and I've said this over and over again in, in my previous um, episodes you have to really ask the question is Satan right for me and based on that overall answer that is what is going to decide how deep you're going to pursue this and if you don't know Satan obviously you're not going to have an answer for this question so you're going to have to do a little bit of I guess soul searching in order to figure out what those answers are so why Satan I mean there are so many belief systems out there there are so many people selling stuff left and right <clears throat> so many people have different ideas for you know what I do what he does what they do it's there there is so much out there so why Satan and you have to really ask yourself that most people when they ask that question their answer is I feel drawn to him and that's a real good place to start if you feel that you're pushing yourself maybe this is not what you need and you've got to be honest with yourself you really do because if you're trying to push something that does not feel right or it does not fit then what you're ultimately going to do is you're going to cause yourself heartache and you're going to waste a lot of valuable time and energy so why Satan what are you really seeking what do you want from Satan very good place to start 
And then you need to determine what are the motivations. So, so many people send me email and they want to know how can I get rich off of Satan? Is it part of the Illuminati? You know, these are the, the public perceptions. And so many people think that, well, I will become a Satanist and I will get rich. I'll get wealthy. I'll have status. Well, you really need to examine what we're really talking about here. In some cases, some people are just simply rebels and shouting hell Satan fits with that rebel uh, persona I guess. Some people are just looking for something destructive, some movement that is destructive, uh, some belief system that is destructive. Maybe they're frustrated with life and all they want to do is destroy. So you have to ask why do you seek Satan? What is it about Satan and the Satanic lifestyle that is drawing you? The next is timing. So when we start out doing anything, any task, we set a timeline and we expect to get results. That's the way things get done, right? So if you start out and you say, well, I am going to, uh, you know, build a, a building, construct a, a building, then it's going to take a certain amount of time. It's going to take a certain amount of money. And the, the first thing you do is you start looking at what the time frame is. When do I get the reward or the return on my investment? So you start scheduling this and obviously you're going to have to set aside time. You're going to have to be patient about this approach. If you're not patient, then you're really going to frustrate yourself and that's not going to help you at all. You know I've I've told this in in presentations before I made an ultimate mistake one time I asked Satanas for patience and it was the worst few weeks that I have ever had and I thought what is going on? You know, I'm obedient. I serve. I do. And this is the thanks I get. Well, Satana spoke to me. And it was just very simple. You ask for patience. How do you become patient? And all, all of a sudden, it just opened my mind. A light bulb came on. When you build patience, you build patience through practice. And how do you do that? By experiencing adversity, difficult times, difficult relationships, difficult people. That's how you build patience. So you have to learn these things. No one has spontaneous knowledge. But what you need to do for the timing part is you need to ask, am I seeking Satan only when I want to? Because if you are, if you're trying to schedule Satan then you're going to be very disappointed. Some of the best things 
happen when you don't expect it you're still going to have to put in the work but Satanas is not going to show up at 735 Eastern Time because you say Satan show up also what information sources are you using right there's a lot of information out there and by the way there's a lot of disinformation out there as well are you using books websites videos are you using word of mouth all of these are are good ways they're good methods however are you drinking from a poisoned well and this is important for you to really ask yourself again as I said before you absolutely have to be I guess applying critical thought all the time because if not you're gonna buy in to whatever the latest trend is whatever the latest fad whatever's popular on YouTube no matter how senseless it is and if you're not getting what you need from something then you're wasting your time so you need to honestly ask how do I seek Satan what am I doing what works what brings me closer to him when do I feel closer to him and those are the things that you need to reinforce those are the things that you need to do more of you need to critically critically apply information evaluation you need to listen but you really need to listen with your mind as well as your ears there's so much noise out there today especially on the internet and in chat rooms and social media people are just throwing so much stuff out there and by the way not everybody has something valuable to say me included so you have to really discern you need to figure out am I getting too much bullshit in my diet and you need to also get away from some of those sources I've said this time and time again and I'm I'm about to practice it as I go into this break uh, after tonight you've got to get away from social media for a little while it will absolutely rot your brain I'm a firm believer of that so apply critical thought Formulate your opinions based upon all available information. And that means don't close your mind because you don't like this person or group or you don't agree with their ideology or theology. You have to consider everything because there are some nuggets of gold out there. But you've got to look at a lot of coal to find those. What is the perspective? How are you looking? Are you looking down a like an alleyway maybe you have put blinders on and maybe you've decided who Satan is and what Satan is 
before you've ever found him. And so you get that tunnel vision and you begin to walk this path and it's not the path that Satanas wants for you. He's got a path for you and it's waiting and it will unlock a lot of knowledge and happiness. It will open up your heart like you have never experienced. But if you put blinders on and you continue down that dark tunnel, you will find that you are alone. You're going exactly away from the light of Satanas, Lucifer. So, don't be preconceived. Listen to your heart, but listen for Satanas. Don't overlook him. What is your need? What need are you seeking to fulfill? And this ties in with the slide before. Is it money that you need? Well, Satan is not a bank. He will bless you and he will bless your life and he will bless your finances, but he's not an ATM. What are you really needing to fulfill in your life? You have to decide that because if it is just money or status or whatever it is, you're missing the big picture. And again, you're going to be disappointed. Ultimately, you're going to be disappointed and you're going to waste a lot of time and energy as well. What is your attitude? Do you want to serve Satan? Or do you want Satan to serve you? And I can tell you, there is a quid pro quo relationship. But Satanas is not a trained animal that you can call up and boss around. It doesn't work like that. Neither is the hosts of hell. Those entities are not trained circus animals. So be very careful in your approach. If you serve, you receive. As I've said so many times before, it starts with giving to get. It's quid pro quo. Any relationship is quid pro quo. And if you're not getting something from a relationship, no matter who it is, or even worse, if the relationship is costing you more than it is returning to you, then you need to sever that relationship. You need to get away from that. You are a child of Satanas, and he loves you, and he has some wonderful things for you. You are not a doormat. So if you are in a relationship, and you hear me tonight, if you are in a relationship, and you're doing all the work, Stop doing the work. That relationship is not meant to be. Relationships are two-way streets. And it doesn't mean that you're not going to have a, a quarrel or bicker every once in a while or what have you. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to be giving away all of your energy to someone that does not reciprocate or does not appreciate. 
Anton LaVey spoke of psychic vampires and that is absolutely prima facie case on point a good way to describe it. This is people that take and take and take and never give anything in return and they will suck your energy right out of you. Now you have to ask the question what do you offer Satan? What do you bring to the table so to speak? Because what I just explained to you is the exact same way the relationship is going to work with Satan. If you feel that you're not going to have to do anything, no energy expended, no time, no effort, and Satanas is just going to, you know, treat you with unconditional love, that is a Christian ideal, not a left-hand path, not a satanic, not for the devil worshiper. That's not the way this works. You're not accepted unconditionally. You're accepted upon the fact that it is quid pro quo. You give, he gives. You give, they give. And it's a two-way street. It's a relationship. And you have to work at it. What do you offer Satan? What does success look like to you? So what are your expectations? Are you too busy to formulate, you know, time and energy and effort? Is there too much noise in your environment? That can be at home, that can be on social media, it can be in your workplace. Is there too much environmental noise going on for you to miss the true message? And will you know Satan when you find him? Will you know him when he shows up? Or will you be too busy to even know he's there? Are you sincere about this pursuit? Are you truly seeking Satan? Again, it goes back to what is your motivation? And a lot of people over the years have come to me and they've said, oh yes, I'll do anything. I want to be part of Satan. I want to be part of the coven, blah, 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 blah. And really what they want is they want an excuse for maladaptive behavior. They're just simply wanting chaos. They're what I call a rebel without a cause. That's all they want to do. They just want to be with others and they just want to take and take and take and never give and never have a relationship with Satanas. I did a presentation, one of these live events was on sacrifice and so many people have sacrifice wrong. And you can go and you can you can check that event out. Um, I won't uh, belabor the point here, but what I will say is, what are you willing to give Satan? And it has to be something that you value. You know, so many people associate. Satanism and devil worship with sacrifices of animals and things like that and that is absolutely ineffective. 
First of all, it has no bearing whatsoever on the situation. When you sacrifice something, you sacrifice through yourself. It has to mean something to you. So, killing an animal is absolutely pointless. It does absolutely nothing. If you really want to sacrifice, donate some time and energy. Donate some money. Do some things that you hold back and you're apprehensive about. Do those things. That is a sacrifice. You have to be personally involved. It's that element. It's that ingredient that has to be there. Sacrificing an animal or sacrificing something that you have a lot of is not a sacrifice. It's an offering. It's a donation. It's not a sacrifice. What are you willing to give Satan? And what commitment are you willing to make to Satan? And don't make a commitment to Satan and not follow it. Don't do it. He would rather you say, I'm not going to make a commitment and be on your way than make a commitment and then break that commitment. To find Satan, you must begin by evaluating yourself. Is Satan right for you? What are you going to do differently to find Satan? After you have answered all of these questions in the methodology, if you do not use the information, then it's absolutely useless and pointless. You know, it's just like training and education. They should result in a change of behavior. If not, they were ineffective. Why would you want to go through training or education or anything else if you don't intend to change what you're doing? And it's the same way in the, the search and finding Satan. What are you going to do differently after you ask yourself those questions? and you have those answers and they need to be sincere answers you really need to open up your heart and your mind and you need to be honest with yourself don't lie to yourself this may not be the path for you if it's not it's going to cause you a lot of heartache if it is, it's going to be the best journey that you have ever taken. Finding Satan does not result in a metaphorical eureka moment. You're not going to get a clap of thunder, lightning bolt, yeah, you may have an experience where a light bulb comes on. You certainly may have an epiphany. But it is a journey. It's not a destination. It's a journey, and you're going to partake of all of the wonderful things in that journey when you find him. And he is there, and he is waiting for you. Finding Satan is a personal search, and it results in enlightenment and continuous self-improvement and absolutely true freedom. Once you find Satan, you begin forming a relationship by getting to know him. That requires time, just like any relationship 
when you first meet someone you have impressions and maybe you have the wrong impressions and over time you begin to learn and you begin to know the individual and maybe your preconceived notion was totally wrong and this works the same way and I'll end this presentation with one thought the definition of stupidity is behavior that shows a lack of good sense or judgment and it is also defined as doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Don't be stupid. Take this information, apply it to your life, ask those questions, be honest with yourself and you will find that he is there waiting and he will show you the way. He will give you enlightenment and that is what we all want and need. So I offer you a satanic blessing here tonight especially for you and I want you to take that and I want you to embrace that satanic blessing and claim it. Satanas is there. He is there waiting and he is there waiting for you. So I hope, I sincerely hope that this helps anyone who is wondering how do I do this? How do I get to know Satan? There is so much information out there. So much noise out there. You've got to quiet the noise. You've got to stop overlooking what may be right in front of you. So, satanic blessings.